Let's try the Night Eye. Oh, just ghost right there. Will this work on them? No, has no effect. Okay. Um, alright, well, I guess we're doing this the old fashioned way. Or I could get out my uh, silver arrows. Oh, wait, I have silver bolts. I didn't even think of that. Oh, fuck. Hmm. <laughs> out of magic. I can hit him with the Tonto. You know what? Let's try. Let's see if we can switch over to the silver bolt. He doesn't seem to want to run up on me at the moment. Of course, he knows I'm here. Oh, God, here he is. Okay, that did pretty good damage to him. Okay, he can't move when I'm reloading. Oh, that's a... <laughs> okay, he can follow me out. So I'm gonna, first thing I gotta do is take a potion. Uh, restore health somewhere. Weak potion of healing. Fine, I'll take both of those. Reload. You coming? I guess he thinks he scared me off, huh? Let's see if I can hold this while going through to the next cell. Probably not. Oh, I could. Ancestral ghost. Okay, there was something else that came running up here, too. I wonder if it was summoned by... Let's put that away. A dead body. Extravagant pants. Alright, we'll, we won't pull the clothes off him just yet. Shrine of Saint Veloth. These doors are all open. That makes me think that something came through here. And I can tell that I'm being detected. I'm not hidden. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Damn! Direct hit! Oh man, did he nail me? I thought I was dead. Come on over here, buddy. Jeez. Okay, the music's just got intense. Anybody else in here? No. Oh! God. That thing. Okay, he's down. <laughs> oh man, he, this skeleton got me right in the melon fucking <laughs> cold cocked me. That was pretty great. That I didn't die, that is. How about you, buddy? Bone Walker. Okay, I've been detected again. I should have stayed sneaking. Okay, who's coming for me? Somebody is. Someone knows all about me. That guy does. Problem solved. You got steel arrows, ooh. I'll be having that. Well, should probably keep <laughs> a bolt ready to go. Ok, 
Okay, there's a guy down there. Bye bye. Okay, there's another one somewhere. Okay, here he is. Gotcha. Anybody in here? Ooh, fire salts. Drow wax. Drake wax. Silver dagger. I can sell that. Nordic battle axe. Nah. Nobody here. Nothing in there. Cork bulb root. What the hell? A ghoul heart? Yeah, it's worth 150 bucks. And Beerus is a thief after all. He's not gonna moralize about offerings. Oh ho ho ho. Okay, he didn't see me. Let's see if we can take him out. One. Hey, you're supposed to come back here. <laughs> okay, that's good. Thank you. Okay, there's somebody else. Oh, great. Okay, he sees me. My strength is being drained. Wonderful. down. Yeah, my strength is... What? what is my strength at? It's been knocked down to 47. But I think it's gonna wear off in about 33 seconds. <sighs> He's jiggling and wiggling. You are an ugly motherfucker. Interested. 36 Lessons of a Vex, Sermon of 15. Uh, sure. Dagger of Judgment and the Skull of Lavul and Drano. I'll be having that. I'll take that. I'll check it out. Native God Julon Bone Mold Helm. Weighs 4, worth 65. Eh, sure. Pretty cool scroll. Eh, yeah, I'm not interested in the potions. Must be Vivek. Or no, wait, that's probably St. Veloth, isn't it? Leading the people. I hear you. I got the skull, I guess I could split out of here. For thoroughness's sake. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, okay. 
Ash salts, sure. Oh, I should look at that Dagger of Judgment. Homilies of Blessed Amalexia. I don't think I'll seal the Holy Book. <laughs> Beerus may not have the best morals, but he's not that scummy. Let's go ahead and look at that Dagger of Judgment. Uh, blade one hand, damage endurance, damage strength for one second. No, oh, but that's damage, not drain. So that's actually pretty wicked. Look at my crossbow. Alright, we got the skull. Let's get back to Balmora. Certainly I've looked in this chest, haven't I? Yep. There's never anything in these urns, I don't think. An iron wakazashi? Weigh seven? Sure, I'll sell it. Whoa. <laughs> okay. How many uses does this thing have before I'm going to have to recharge it? Uh, not that one. It is the Fiend Tonto. 195. Okay. Oh, it's pouring rain. Isn't that great? Okay, put it away. Let's give it a hard save here in the rain. The new one is fine. Alright, back to Balmora. Actually, some freaking night vision might be called for in this godforsaken weather. What time is it? It's only 5.44. Oh, looks like the weather's clearing up. Oh, fuck. Guar. Dang. That thing will fuck me up if I get close to it. Alright, silver bolt. I should have switched. Let's go ahead and do that now. Let's switch back to steel bolts. So I'm not going up this hillside. There we go. Well, it is sort of a interesting dusky situation, isn't it? Well, <laughs> situation is in Vista, so I guess not the best of words. what the night vision will look like. Oh man. It's kind of interesting.
Alright, the stars are coming out. It's gonna be pitch black out here in no time. I suppose I should enjoy the strange yellows while I can. Okay, I think that's a rat I killed. Is that another rat over there? <laughs> Keep into the high road as much as I can. Really? Gotcha. I'm gonna grab you free sink through the world. Look, there's a niche up here. It's actually quite lovely, isn't it? Okay, here's Fort Moon Moth. Almost there. Whoa. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. Yeah, I just need to get this to last longer and this will be really handy for long distance night journeys. Alright, Belmora. Big Silt Strider. Silt Strider driver up there. A rat. Alright, let's go give uh, Mirzagra whatever her, uh, <laughs> her skull. Muzagro, I don't know what her name is. It's something, something. Well met. Oh, let's put the crossbow away. They ran into goblins around here not long ago. I can't Drop stand these quick. things. I can't stand the sight uh, of those Sharn creatures. Sharn Yeah, it's me. Is it about the errand you were doing for me? As a matter of fact, it is. I have your stinking skull. Very good, I'll just take that skull from you. Perfect, for what I have in mind. Thank you. Now, as I have promised. I'll answer your questions on the Nerevarine cult. Go ahead. Okay, um, well, tell me about the Nerevarine cult. The Ashlander cult believes the long-dead hero Nerevar will be reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes. According to legend, the prophesized Nerevarine will cast down the false gods of the tribunal temple. Restore the traditional ancestor worship practiced by the Ashlanders and drive all Outlanders from Morrowind. 
Both temple and empire outlaw the cult, but it persists among the Ashlanders who care little for imperial or temple law. Here. Take this copy of my notes on the topic for Caius. Okay. Hmm. Well. I guess that's all she's really going to tell me. That's fine. I'll read the notes. What about find a spell? I promise you an honest trade. Uh, da, healing, fifth bear shield. Well, I, yeah, I couldn't cast that if I wanted to. Dispel, cure common disease on other calm creature. Hmm, I guess we'll hold off. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Bloodgrass. You know what? I got some rat meat I can sell you. Bargain. Uh, she likes me 80. She's a novice. Let's put that up to 75. And rat meat for you. And some razor plumes. And the rest of this stuff we can worry about some other time. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you kindly, Sharn. And what do you There's trade in? There's much I can show you. Alteration. Hmm. I should probably invest in some you alchemy training, frankly. Afraid. Welcome. Only fools earn my anger. Hello, Ajira. Can we do some training? Searching for knowledge? Kajit can help. Thank goodness. Uh, yeah. I want some alchemy training. Searching for searching for knowledge. Searching for knowledge. Uh, your stained fingers attest to your diligence in mixing potions and learning their secrets. You are now an apprentice of alchemy. All potion ingredients have four potential effects. You can now automatically identify the first two. All right, beautiful. Searching for knowledge. And might as well. Searching for knowledge. Get that last one in. And... It needs potions. I spent a lot of money on that, but that's okay. And I don't really need potions right now. Thank you very much. Oh, actually. A me, potion today? Let me look at your ingredients. Arrowroot. Ah, oh, beautiful. So Black Anther has resist fire. That'll be handy. Cinnabar, shield, crab meat, resist shot. Harada, damage magicka. Impgall has cure paralysis. Intriguing. Might buy that from her. <laughs> Detect life from rat meat, moon sugar, dispel, scales, scrap metal. St. John's wart, spadel stick. Alright, we'll worry about that stuff later. You too. Alright, take it easy, Ajira. Thanks a lot. It is 9 p.m. Let's go give Caius his what? stuff. Where does our food come oh, actually, from? let's read <laughs> the note that she gave us. It is going to be over here. Nervine cult notes. The following are notes from Sharn Gramuzgab to Caius Cassidis. The Nervine cult. This Ashlander religious cult follows prophecies of a Nerevar reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes, to reestablish the traditions of the prophet Veloth, to cast down the false gods of the tribunal temple, and to drive all outlanders from Morrowind. Both temple and out empire outlaw the cult, but it persists among the Ashlanders despite imperial and temple repression. Because it is persecuted, it remains a secret cult, and it is hard to judge how widespread it is among the Ashlanders, or whether it has any following outside of the Ashlander tribes. The Nerevarine. The Ashlanders firmly believe that Nerevar will return to restore the glories of ancient Resdane. Morrowind was called Resdane before the Imperial occupation. The Ashlanders say the great houses in the temple have abandoned the pure teachings of the prophet Veloth, forsaking ancestor worship for the false gods of the tribunal, and embracing the comforts of civilization that corrupted the High Elves. The temple, on the other hand, venerates Saint Nerevar, but rejects the disgusting notion that the false incarnate will walk the earth like a ghoul. Nerevar. The temple honors Saint Nerevar as the greatest Dunmer general, first counselor, and companion of Vivek, Amalexia, and Sultasil, who united the Dunmer houses to destroy the evil Dwemer, the treacherous house Dagoth, and their western allies at Red Mountain. But the Ashlanders say Nerevar promised to honor the ancient spirits in the tribal law, and that he will come again to honor that promise. 
To the Ashlanders, this means destroying the false temple and driving the Imperial invaders from the land. Nerevarine Prophecies Dream visions and prophecies are a respected tradition in Ashlander culture. Their wise women and shamans take careful note of dreams and visions and pass on the tribe's legacies of vision and prophecy to their successors. By contrast, the temple and western faiths are suspicious of mysticism, and they regard interpretation of dreams and visions as primitive superstition. The most common version of the Nerevarine prophecy is the stranger. The verses are obscure, as are most prophecies, but two observations are in order. First, many less well-informed scholars assume that the phrase journeyed far neath moon and star is just a cliché to suggest a very long journey, but the Nerevar of legend was known to possess a magical ring named One Clan Under Moon and Star, upon which Nerevar is supposed to have sworn his promise to honor ancient Ashlander traditions and land rights. Second, the reference to seven curses must certainly refer to the lost prophetic verses known, as Ashland, known to the Ashlanders as the seven curses. The Stranger When earth is sundered and skies choked black, skies choked black, and sleepers serve the seven curses, to the hearth there comes a stranger, journeyed far, neath moon and star. Though stark born to sire uncertain, his aspect marks his certain fate. Wicked stalk him, righteous curse him, prophets speak, but all deny. Many trials make manifest the stranger's fate, the curse is bane. Many touchstones try the stranger, many fall, but one remains. Lost Prophecies Ashlander elders complain of prophecies which have been lost to tribal memory due to the carelessness or ineptitude of earlier generations of wise women and Ashkans. Suspicious scholars wonder whether these prophecies might have been deliberately forgotten or suppressed. Three Nerevarine prophecies in particular are said to have been lost. One, the lost prophecies. Two, the seven curses. And three, seven visions of seven trials of the incarnate. Perhaps these lost prophecies will someday be found, either in forgotten accounts written by literate travelers, or in the memories of isolated Ashlanders, or in the secret traditions of the wise women and shamans. Well, she wrote down a heck of a lot more than Hasfat and Tavalis did, didn't she? Alright, let's go give this to Kaya, see what he thinks. Traveled far neath moon and star. <laughs> Alright, Caius. Guys, what's going on, bud? Hi there. Are you here to discuss your orders? In fact, I am. Are the and these are Sharn's notes on the Nerevarine cult. Excellent. I'm promoting you to Blade's Apprentice. I'd like some time to think of how this fits in with Emperor's plans for you. So, if you'd like to get in a little freelance adventuring, go ahead. Well, let's see. You might as well just give me what I tell me what I need to do, bud. I've thought it over, and I want you to interview three informants in Vivek City concerning the Nerevarine and the Sixth House. First, I want you to speak with Adhiranir, a Kashi Thieves Guild operative. Okay, that's cool. Second, I want you to speak with Hulea, an Argonian in the Morag Tong. Finally, I want you to speak with Mera Milo, a Temple Priestess. Here. I've written the details down so you won't forget. And here are 200 drakes for bribes and other expenses. Very thoughtful, Caius. All right, go ahead. I think that we're gonna leave it here, guys. And uh, next time we're gonna travel to Vivek and uh, talk to some informants. Let's go ahead, and pop in here, take off the Enderil helmet. All right, guys. I'll catch you next time. Peace. <laughs>